Hi, for this video what I want to do is show you how to rotate a triangle about the origin in the coordinate plane. So what we have here is triangle ABC. Um, coordinate A is at 2, 1, B is at 5, 2, and C is at 3, 4. For this particular video, I am going to rotate my triangle counterclockwise by these three angle measures, 90, 180, and 270. Um, in geometry, these are the most common rotations that you will encounter. And majority of the time, we will rotate counterclockwise unless it specifies to rotate clockwise. So if it doesn't specify the direction, then rotate counterclockwise. So what's going to happen here is with a 90 degree angle, you're going to start with your original coordinate x, y, and what's going to happen to it is it's going to switch your x and y coordinate and it's also going to change the sign. So basically we want to rotate this into quadrant 2, um, which is a 90 degree rotation. So let's say, for example, we're talking about point A, which is at 2, 1. I would switch the order of these and change the sign of the second one. So our A prime would be at negative 1, 2. So we would then go back 1 and up 2, and this would give us our A prime. For C, or let's do B next, B is at 5, 2. The way that this would change, B prime would switch the order and change the sign of the first, so negative 2, 5. So we would go back 2, 1, 2, and then up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this would be our B prime. And then our last one for C prime, we would switch, it would put us at negative 4, 3. So I'd go back 1, 2, 3, 4, and up 1, 2, 3. So this would be our C prime which is negative 4, 3, and then we would just connect our dots. I forgot the prime one might be. And so all we did was we took this and rotated it by 90 degrees. 180 degrees, what this is going to do is it's going to put us in quadrant 3. So since we're starting in quadrant 1, 180 degrees would put us over in quadrant 3. And what's going to happen to this mathematically is we're going to take our xy coordinates and we're just going to change the sign of both of them. So this would become negative x comma negative y. So for a, and I'm just going to call this one double prime because it's my second example. Um, I could just call it a prime again. I could do it on another thing, but just to save time, um, I decided to put them all in the same one. So if I switch this, it would be negative 2 and negative 1. So I'm just going to call this a double prime because it's my second rotation. So we would be at negative 2, negative 1. For C, we would be at negative 3, so 1, 2, 3, and then down at negative 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. And it doesn't matter what order you go in with your points. B would be at negative 2 and down at, sorry, let me do that correctly. It would be at negative 5, comma, negative 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And down at negative 2. And then you would just connect your lines. All right, and for the last one, we are going to rotate the original shape 270 degrees. So what's going to happen with this one is we are going to switch our x and our y coordinates, but this time our x coordinate is going to be the opposite because we want a negative y down here. So if you think about it, our x term down here is positive and our y term is going to be negative. So if we switch them, the x and y, and then we change the sign of what would be our y coordinate. So starting with a, if we switch these, it would be 1, comma, negative 2. So I would go 1 down 2. And this would be our a triple prime because this is our third rotation that I'm doing on here. Um, the primes are just to denote the difference between the two. You can also see it with the colors. So 1, negative 2 would be our first point. For C, we would switch them so it would be 4, negative 3. So I would go over 1, 2, 3, 4, and down 1, 2, 3. Okay, and then our last one, we would switch the 2 and the 5. So it would be 2, comma, negative 5. 
And if you notice with this one, we could have also just changed both sides of our 90 degree rotation because that's really the opposite there. So this was 2, negative 5. And then we would connect our points. So in order to rotate um, counterclockwise 90 degrees, you're going to switch the coordinates, change the sign of your x coordinate, your new x coordinate. Um, for 180 degrees, you're just going to change the signs of both coordinates. You keep them in the same order. And then 270 degrees is going to switch the order, and you're going to negate the value that would give you a y because we have a negative y coordinate down here in quadrant 4. So just in case you are asked to go counter or to go clockwise, um, 270 degrees counterclockwise is the same thing as 90 degrees clockwise. 180 degrees is the same thing as 180 clockwise. And 90 degrees is the same thing as 270 degrees clockwise. So you really don't have to learn anything different. Um, it's going to give you the same thing. If you rotate 360 degrees, it would take you back to your original drawing. Most of the time, you're not going to do three on the same graph. You're going to do three separate individual ones. But to save time and having to create a bunch of different graphics, I decided to do it all on one. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you would like for me to cover, please let me know that as well.